everyone. Today we will continue to talk about needs. We will learn how to do argyle pattern, ferile pattern and intarsion. So let's start our lesson number eight. Ferile is a knitting technique used to create patterns with multiple colors. It is named after Ferile, one of Shetland Islands. An argyle is the pattern which made of diamonds. Intarsia is a knitting technique that involves knitting with blocks of colors. Sometimes we call it picture knitting. Look, very useful for kids. First, let's recreate the ferile pattern. I've chosen this one. Open our basic knit template from the lesson number seven. Copy and paste our sweater pattern as a new layer. Then duplicate main layer, move it on the top. Select stitch color and delete it. Now you can see sweater pattern with a grid of stitches on the top. Enlarge the sweater layer so the real sweater stitches will approximately match the template pattern by size. Then go to upper layer let's call it design layer and start to design our pattern from this motif. Pick this color, select paint bucket continuous check and click on the stitch on the top. Be sure you are on design layer. Then go to next stitch and recreate this one as well. Then the third one. The same way you can recreate all stitches from this motif on one side. I recommend create one side first and then make a mirror repeat. Just be aware the real pattern cannot match the flat template exactly, so use your creativity to make it pretty. I recommend to use equal amount of stitches symmetrically. So if you have three stitches on the bottom of the motif, make three stitches on the top. In the same way, if you have two stitches here, make two stitches here as well. Ferrile motifs always look pretty in a symmetrical way. Now you can make a repeat. Go to the next motif. For your convenience, move around the pattern layer below so its stitches match approximately template stitches. Be sure all stitches go up. It's very important. Don't do stitches go up and down. Your pattern will look weird and confuse the factory. So we are recreating this motif in the same way. We can even change its color. As we see, this motif is the copy of the first one. We can select it Copy and paste. Be sure you match it with grid and use different color. Recreate upper motifs. And bottom motifs. If it's difficult to make it exactly as an original, use your imagination and make it as pretty as possible. When you finish to recreate all motifs, make a copy of them. Then once again, and one more time. Now select main color, choose bucket tool, contiguous unchecked, and fill remaining entire area. You have your parallel pattern artwork. In the same way, as we spoke in our previous videos, you can go to indexed color mode and make as many different colorways as you want. Also, we can go to our lesson number seven and add all realistic effect to our pattern. You can change shadow color, add noise and 3D effect. When you create a regal pattern, you can use exactly the same technique. 
copy and paste our gal pattern under the design layer and start to recreate. I recommend choose the main diamond, create a border, and crossing lines. Then select area inside, exclude shadow color and fill diamond. Then repeat it horizontally, while it's selected you may change color. Then select everything again and repeat vertically. While it's selected make a mirror repeat. Now the most important part, try to connect crossing lines in a proper way. Be sure that it looks ideally diagonal, otherwise it will break the beauty of the design. If it doesn't look that way, you can add some stitches and repeat it again. And at least fill the remaining area with the ground color. Now. You have the argyle pattern in front of you. You can continue to work on it, make it different colorways and adding visual effects. And the last technique we're going to talk about, the intarsia. It's the most difficult technique because you have to create the look of exact item using neat stitches. Let's find some pretty flower. Open our neat template, paste flower on upper layer, adjust the size, then select red color, close flower layer, go to neat layer, make select color range, select green color, fuzzing is zero. You select stitches within red area, but when you look closer you see some stitches are selected partially, which is totally impossible for real knitting process. So as we learned in previous lesson, go to select grow. Then fill with red. Now we have red stitches area. Zoom in, finish all uncomplete stitches. Then open flower layer, select mint area, go to knit layer, select main green color, go select grow, fill with our mint color. Sometimes your design needs some correction. If you look closer, you see these stitches go up and these stitches go down. It's impossible for execution, so you need some manual adjustment. Use paint bucket, until iced off, contiguous checked. Then we have a center. It's the easiest part. Select center area on knit layer. Go to select color range, select main green, fill with yellow. See, now you have all intarsia flower ready for execution. Now you can apply all effects from previous lesson. You think this method you can create any intarsia design, just be sure your artwork is simple enough. In difference from print, the factory will not be able to execute very complicated design, for instance watercolor. 
So, if you want to design some fancy object, try to simplify it using indexed color. In this case, you don't have to be very accurate. Let's knit out this bear. Put the image on upper layer, adjust the size. Then select all, create new image, pass the bear. How many colors we need? I would use five. Black eyes, white area, yellow skin, this brown shadow and red bow. Go image mode indexed color. Use palette custom. Click on each cell and choose all five colors one by one. Black, white, yellow, brown, red. Okay, it has some pixelated area, but it's not critical in this case. Put indexed image on the upper layer of our template. Delete this one. These freckles are too tiny. Let's delete it. Let's do our operation color by color. Choose magic one, contiguous checked. Start from smaller area, black eyes and mouth. Select. Choose layer, go to knit layer, color range, green, select, grow, fill with black. Go to barrel layer, select white area. Go to knit layer, color range, green, select, grow, fill with white. The same with shadow. Go to knit layer, color range, green, select, grow, fill with brown. Red bow, go to knit layer, color range, green, select row, fill with red. Then the biggest area. Go to knit layer, color range, green, select row, fill with yellow. See, we have our knitted bear. As usual, we need a little manual adjustment. Probably his mouth is too wide. Let's make it prettier. When it's ready, you can apply all effects from previous lesson. Change shadow color, create heather and impose effect. Our bear is ready to be sent to the factory. So now we know how to create argyle, feral and antarsia using Photoshop. Next time we will talk about full body cat. Please subscribe to my channel, like it if you still didn't and please don't forget to check your bell. See you soon.